Hi, this is Ronnie Garrett from AC Business Media Supply Chain Network. I am here today with Rick Falk of Locust Robotics. He is here to talk to us about the Locust Bot, which is an autonomous vehicle for the warehouse. Can you tell me a little bit about where robotics is today in the warehouse and where we still need to go? Sure. It's actually very early days right now. Um, organizations are looking to automate what they're doing, increase productivity, solve their labor problems, which they all have, but it's still very, very early days. Uh, our estimate is right now only 3 to 5 percent of the warehouses are actually automated. So there's a long way to go. And the opportunity to improve labor costs, um, increase productivity, is just dramatic. And, and we have a long way to go yet. But it's, so, so it's very early days. Okay. Thank you. And how can the Locust Bot improve productivity and efficiencies in the warehouse? Sure. What we do, we make workers more productive. So the average worker, depending on the facility, may pick 40 to 50 items a day, and we'll increase that by at least 200% and up to 500%. Wow. So we increase it, increase it significantly. It depends on the use case and application, that sort of thing. But generally, we bump productivity rates between 200 and 500%. That's impressive. Well, tell me a little bit about the Locust Bot and how it works. Sure. We integrate with the customer's warehouse management system. The orders come into their system. Those are then input to, to the Locust Bot system. Um, that task then is dispensed to the robot. The robots go out to the warehouse, execute a pick. The humans actually do the pick right now. And we save, you know, an average worker right now walks between, between 12 and 14 miles, and we reduce that significantly, therefore making those steps more productive and increasing productivity. So um, that's basically how it works. It's actually quite simple. Okay. And how does it know where to go? Well, that's a really good question. We make it actually very easy. The first, the first thing we do is we actually build a map of that customer's warehouse. And we do that by turning a Locust Bot loose in the warehouse, and it sort of builds an image map using its cameras. And then when it's traveling around, it uses that image map to compare what it knows with what it sees. And based on that, it knows where to go. We also marry that with, with, with a LiDAR. Um, in this booth, for example, we have a lot of humans moving around and that, that LiDAR sees uh, about 12 inches up and we, avoid, and we avoid humans and avoid obstacles like ladders and that sort of thing. Wonderful. Tell me a little bit about the applications you perceive for this unit. Sure. Uh, basically, we focus on e-commerce warehouses today. Um, so e-commerce is one of those things that's growing significantly in the U.S. right now, well, actually worldwide, and that's the use case, the case we focus on now. About 95% of the orders being shipped on e-com today can, can fit on one of these robots. A robot can handle about 100 pounds. Right. Uh, so we can handle most any e-com order today. And that's the market that, that Locust focuses on today. Okay. And what do you see as the future for this? Where is this all going? What do you look, think the warehouse of the future is going to look like? Well, we think it's all going towards robotics. Uh, there are a lot of companies like, like Amazon who are, who are saving literally millions and millions of dollars. Um, we just si signed a relationship with um, DHL. Uh, and they're going to be doing the same thing um, in some of their facilities. So uh, any company really in the distribution space today really needs to think about robotics because it really saves on productivity, saves on dollars, and also makes workers more efficient. So it really does both. Okay. Tell me a little bit about your partnership with DHL and what they're going to be doing. Sure. Um, DHL is looking to, we're starting in an initial uh, facility in uh, Mississippi and uh, it's in their life sciences division and they're shipping uh, surgical supplies, things like uh, ankles and knees and that sort of thing. Uh, so we're going to be automating the shipment of that and the reason why they're using robotics is because accuracy is very important thing one and timeliness is important because they've got to ship uh, supplies that will be used in an op operating room the next day. So uh, very, very mission critical. Life critical. Exactly. Exactly. Well, thank you very much for your time. You're today, welcome. Rick. I really appreciate thank it. Thank you.